Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. We need to find the planar vortex and end the plane meld once and for all. Well done! Then we still have a chance. We sent in a small force to cause a distraction. They probably won't survive, but they should keep the enemy busy while we get the rest of our troops inside. We need to make sure their sacrifice isn't in vain. We want you to get in there and open the labyrinth before we send in the entire force and reveal our numbers. Hanan and Gabrielle can brief you on the battle plans for the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild strike teams that will follow after you. The Mage's Guild stands ready to do our part for this effort. I just wish I had as much confidence as Vanus Galerion. We're facing some overwhelming odds here, you know. Molag Bal is using tactics similar to what we faced in the Chasm. He set up a portal to move his troops around quickly. As you head in to open the Labyrinth, we need you to close that portal. King Dinar insists that the initial strike be fast and precise. He doesn't want the entire army getting in your way or causing Molag Bal to respond in kind. You've proven yourself time and time again. We have faith that you can do this. The Fighters Guild is ready. We're prepared to follow you into the very heart of Molag Bal's lair. We shall not fail you. Of course. We've already sent in a small force, a distraction, as it were. While they keep the enemy occupied, you slip in and open the labyrinth. As you clear a path, Fighters Guild soldiers will fall in behind you to hold the line. You need to be able to move fast. A large force would only draw attention to you and slow you down. Select one of our soldiers to take along, if you like. But more than that would be more of a hindrance than a help. I wish you luck in there fight alongside you, that would be a true honor. But the Fighters Guild needs me right now. Someone has to command our forces. After you clear a path to the Labyrinth, I shall lead the charge inside. And luck to you as well. Make them pay for all the pain and suffering they've caused. And for our friends and allies that have fallen along the way. Let's tear this coward apart. Let's make Molag Ball wish he'd never been born. Wait a minute. Are Daedric Princes born? It doesn't matter. He'll wish something when we're done with him. I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. This just makes me so angry. Why in Moloch's name would somebody want to steal an entire world? It makes no sense. Now look what you did. I'm just furious and I need something to hit. Oh. By time you got over here, old chum, exercise is all well and good, but if I keep this up much longer, I'll be useless in the actual battle. <laughs> A question? How marvelous! I shall march by your side into the darkest depths of foul iniquity, our weapons aloft and aglow with the fires of eternal righteousness. You honor me this day, my friend. I gladly accept this mission. My sword is yours, my boon companion. Together, we will protect the beautiful realm of Cold Harbor, and perhaps even save that ugly rat hole you call home. Victory! Thy name is Cadwell. Have you selected a companion to accompany you? If you need more time to speak with your friends, please take it. This might be the last chance you get. When you're ready, I'll give you final instructions and we can begin our final assault. Very well. Come with me and I'll explain the exact 
details of your mission. Our forces are gathered, and the time has come to strike fast and strike hard. Time is not on our side, so we must make every moment count. Troops are already inside, fighting and holding ground, causing a distraction so that you can deal with Molag Baal's ability to call reinforcements. For the initial assault, Cadwell will assist you. Don't be fooled by his bizarre antics, for his heart is full of courage and honor. Close the reinforcement portal. That is your first priority. Gabrielle and her forces will join you then for the push to the labyrinth. Once the labyrinth is opened, you must make your way through Molag Baal's personal sanctum and find the portal to the planar vortex. That is your ultimate objective. If we are to end the plane meld, we must disrupt the planar vortex and cease its destructive storm. Take your brave companion and venture forth. Close the reinforcement portal so that our forces can wage war on the Daedric Prince. Then open the labyrinth and lead us to the planar vortex. Our destiny is in your hand. One last crystal chap, one last leap into the fire, unless we survive, of course, but how likely is that?
Country! I'm going to run out of room on my scabbard! Where will I mark my kills? As soon as I sensed that you sealed Bolog Ball's portal, I figured it was safe enough to follow you. Gabrielle has assembled a team of mages and scholars to aid you inside the labyrinth, as we need all of the fighters for the main assault. Now that we don't have to worry about overwhelming hordes of reinforcements, we're sending in the main assault force. While they keep Molog Ball's minions busy, you need to navigate the labyrinth and find the portal to the plain air vortex. Of course not. Even I am not so foolish as to enter Molog Ball's inner sanctum myself. Gabrielle and her mages will accompany you inside. Oh, you'll know the source of our world's destruction when you see it. Just find a way through the labyrinth, and try not to let the deadly traps and horrible monsters kill you. Now go, and good luck. Don't lose hope, my friend. We're depending on you. This room is so big. I never expected the prince to be much of a reader. But all these books, imagine the wealth of knowledge they contain. I could spend years in here, if we didn't have more important matters to deal with, I mean. We can't get out of this room. The door on the other side won't budge, and we haven't been able to figure out the mechanism yet. Search around the room, I guess. Who knows, you might find something useful among the dark tomes and old fables about lusty Argonians. But I've never seen a mechanism like this before. It's rather fascinating. Listen to this, Kirith. Reach out and touch a brazier to draw forth the fire and launch it in the direction of your choosing. How fascinating. I wonder what it means. This book. I think it references this device. If I'm reading this correctly, and of course I'm reading this correctly, then these flames can be used to power the mechanism that opens the gate. Frankly, the workmanship is stunning. I'm jealous. Simply touch the Daedric fire. For a short time, the power of the flame will transfer to you, much like any conjuration spell. It can then be launched in any direction. Get as close as you can and throw the fire into the four open tubes.
We're almost there. A one-way door. Looks like we can only go forward from here. I hope the others are alright. I can't imagine we have too much farther to go. We just need to cross this region, and we'll find the planar vortex in no time. Stick close to me. There's probably something waiting in here that wants to kill us. I need to get this door open. Hold them off while I work on this. find them here? Interesting. I've never been to this area before, but it's breathtaking. Gadwell, your mastery of portals does you proud. Cadwell takes some getting used to, I must admit. But he really is an amazing fellow. He... Wait a moment. What happened? Where's the rest of your team? Well, the others will have to fend for themselves for the time being. I'll send Cadwell to find them shortly. Things are looking grim outside, by the way. We've lost many fine men and women already, and the battle is far from over. Even without his portal, Molog Ball has the ability to throw an unlimited number of forces at us. We're holding our own, but just barely. Winning isn't our goal, though. We just need to survive long enough for someone to reach the plain air vortex. Far too many. Hanan was caught by surprise and wiped out, along with a large number of Fighters Guild soldiers. King Dinar's group was also ambushed, but he managed to fight his way out of it. Many were wounded, though. Time is running out. Thank Cadwell for that small favor. I'm not sure how he does it, but I think he's grown so attached to Cold Harbor that he's actually become part of it. Unfortunately, he can only teleport one other person at a time, and it is a lengthy process. The portal that leads to the plain air vortex is just around the bend. Molog Ball won't simply let you walk up to it, though. He's going to do everything he can to stop you. I'll provide what help I can, and as usual, it will be considerable. Now go! Shadow Walkers, attack! 
have done well, my child. You have performed better than I expected. Even in the face of unrelenting danger and the worst horrors Oblivion has to offer. I am impressed. Like you, I have come to finish this. Thanks to the efforts of your army, you have gotten this far without drawing the gaze of Molag Ball. I use a similar distraction to travel through this disagreeable realm unmolested. Keep working on it. You will solve the riddle eventually. There is more to do if you wish to save your world. To halt the plane meld, you must enter the eye of the storm. The planar vortex can only be disrupted from the inside. I have been with you every step of the way. I provided a safe haven in Cold Harbor. I gave you knowledge of the lights of Meridia. I needed a surrogate to act in my stead. I dared not risk exposing my true nature to the Dark Prince. Used you? Of course I used you. But you knew what was at stake from the beginning, and did what was necessary to save your world. Every choice you made was your own. As it happens, your choices suited my own ends. You must enter the planar vortex. The interstices of space and time, where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point of the plane meld, and disrupt the vortex. The life of one insignificant mortal to save an entire world? It is a small sacrifice. If you succeed, the brilliance of the unleashed light will consume the vortex and sever the plane meld. Nern will be saved. Ask your questions, but know that time is growing short. You cannot hope to succeed without the support of your allies. I will summon those who still live and draw them into the vortex with us. The light of Meridia cleanses and purifies. There is nothing to fear from its brilliant embrace. chains than that to stop me. Come, we have things to discuss. You seem surprised, Mordo. Did you not suspect my true identity? I did not pretend, Mordo. I am the groundskeeper. I merely hid the fact that I am also a Daedric Prince. My plans have been long in the making. Had I revealed myself too soon, I could have jeopardized everything. Do not presume to question my motives. Suffice it to say, I required mortal assistance to destroy the vortex and halt the plane meld. 
Reality is a game, mortal. Learn to play, or resign yourself to becoming one of the pieces that is meant to be sacrificed. Your allies have arrived. Speak to them before we continue. Meridia and Moloch Ball have always hated each other with a fiery passion, but that hatred has cost so many of our lives. I have a notion to show them both why Vanis Galarian's power should be feared. Chances? I don't believe in luck or fortune. We'll win this day with blood and magic, or we'll die trying. I won't lie to you, I doubt we can win this fight, but that doesn't mean we won't try. The same thing that happens to everybody. The world ends and everyone dies. And that's the best scenario. More likely, they'll all become soul-shriven slaves in Cold Harbor. No, we can't. But we're not the chosen ones. We're not heroes of destiny fated to succeed. We're simply soldiers, brothers and sisters fighting for what they care about. We're united and that makes us strong. That's what's important here. It's good to know your faith hasn't wavered. These men and women follow you. They face death itself to fight at your side. They will stand with you until the end. Don't disappoint them. I thought the battle behind us was dreadful, but this place, it boggles the mind. Still, we've made it this far. Victory is within our grasp, especially now that the Radiant Lady stands with us. I've seen the rise and fall of my people. Yet I stand before you, the last of my kind. I am the last, Aeliad. But I am proud to call you my friend. Cruel tyrants and conquerors, who believed ourselves better than the other races of Nern. When the lesser races decided we were the enemy and united against us, our downfall was all but guaranteed. We were too stubborn to see where we were wrong. There is a reason I am the last king of the Aeliads. I stood alongside the younger races, aided them. I believed in what they fought for. I was there when the power of High Rock switched from the Elysians to the Dareni. Speak to your friends, for these moments may be their last. But do not tarry too long. Time is fleeting, and each moment is a thief that steals far more than it brings. The Lord of Brutality uses dark anchors to bind this vortex. We must destroy all three before the power of Meridia's light is unleashed. Otherwise, the resulting backlash could destroy Nern as surely as the plane meld would. Meridia's light must be unleashed at the focal point of the vortex. We will need to locate that focal point. Again, I remind you that this will be your last opportunity to speak to your allies before the final battle begins. When you are ready, let me know. So it begins. Destroy the remaining anchors. I shall begin searching for the focal point of the vortex. The chains bind both planes. We cannot use the light until those chains are destroyed. Go quickly.
find it than I did before. We have to hurry. Molog Ball knows we're here. Go, warriors of light. These dark chains must be broken. You cannot stop me, Meridia. This realm will be mine. Running out of time. I'll make sure these anchors are destroyed. You have to keep moving. Place the light and disrupt this vortex. I'm sticking with her, my friend. Gabrielle and me, we've been through a lot. I'm not going to leave her alone. Darian. No one else dies today. That's an order. Come on, let's go set the light in place. I would allow this. She is more foolish than I thought. Oh, how sad. Most people are drafted into a warlike house no, somehow. My counsel shall destroy. Where are you hiding? I shall enjoy watching a hero die. Merely fetching those who would stand against you. I tire of this game. Now you shall die. Quickly, get behind my shield. Did you think? 
think it would be that easy. My minions will tear you apart! The planar vortex is destroyed. Molog Ball's plane meld is at an end. You are mortal. You began to die the moment you were born. You are not fully dead. Not yet. Your song has only just begun, and many verses still lay before you. The vortex has been destroyed. I designed this place to be familiar and calming to you. It is a small pocket of oblivion, under my protection. No harm will come to you here. Those present when you shattered the light were under my protection. They gather in the room beneath us, saying their farewells. Those who were not a part of the final battle? I cannot say. The Aeliad King suffered grievous wounds. He is near death, but he has not passed yet. Do you not see how singular you are? How remarkable? You entered the realm of a Daedric Prince, gathered an army strong enough to fight his legions, and saved your mortal world. You are a valuable asset, mortal. You will be of great use to us. For the nonce, we require nothing. But the Dark Princes have taken notice of you, and they have plans, and plans within plans. Prepare yourself, and be ready when Oblivion calls. Time has finally come, it seems. I have... I have lived far longer than any of my people. Finally, I will... I will be able to join them once more. Meridia's shield protected the others. Darien and I were outside the shield, dealing with Morlog Baal's damn portals. I watched as light filled your body. You were a beacon. 
and the last thing I will ever see. Darkness fills my eyes. As the light erupted around me, someone pushed me closer to Meridia's shield. It was too late to save me, but it did bring me here. My fate doesn't matter. I'm gladdened by the thought that Nern is safe. Then I shall... I shall rest well, knowing my final day, the final day of the alien people, was spent saving Nern from the clutches of Molag Baal. And I... I... I want you to have this. A gift from my people to the hero of Nern. To honor you and those who fell beside me in this great battle. Thank... Thank you. May the spirits guide me on my 